Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the secret treasure of Cranberry Bog Island. In this video, I'll be going over a spoiler. It's basically solving a riddle inside the, uh, the latest Fallout 4 DLC Far Harbor. And uh, there's an island called Cranberry Bog Island, and you have to complete a few different steps in order to unlock a secret treasure. Now, you find this map on Cranberry Island, and it's by a, a little child named Azira. And on the map, you see three points of interest marked by a yellow lightning bolt. Uh, this is to denote that it's a power generator of some sort. And the goal, in order to unlock a secret door that uh, gets you where you need to go, you have to turn on the power for all of the three water pumps that work on this island. Now, the map is crude, and it's not very helpful. So what I figured I would do is pop into the sky really quick and show you a bird's eye view just so that you can wrap your head around what this island looks like. So it's actually a super small island. Uh, this is the entire size of it. It's not very large. And most of you will first arrive on the island from the north. The north is the closest to Far Harbor. And it's likely that you'll swim across from over there somewhere uh, to where this uh, this ship is. So let's take a look at the three main water pumps that you need to, that you need to turn on. The, uh, they're yellow and they're easy to see. One is right there, one is right there, and one is right there. So I'll go over each one quickly. So let's go on over here to pump number two. So before you can activate this switch right here, you have to fix this electrical outlet right here. In order to reroute the circuit, you need six perception, or you can repair it with four circuitry. So if you don't have enough perception, you need to bring four circuitry with you, or you can put it up to luck and hopefully that you get it to work. Once done, head on over to the number two switch and flip it on. Heading back up into the sky, we realize that pump number two is actually the first one you come across. It's the most northerly pump. The second one you come across, the second most northerly pump, is over here in this bog area. And this is pump number three. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. This one has a stat check as well. And here it is right here. You can bend the pipe back to place if you've got seven strength. You might want to just pop a whiskey or something to push it up there. Or if you have five steel, you can repair it right here and there. Of course, you can rely on luck and just bang on it. But let's use our strength. Once done, head on over to the circuit and flip it on. There you go, you've got two of three done. There's only one more. And there's a reason we're doing this one last because it's also closest to our target objective. So uh, one tip, if you're having a hard time finding them, see these red wires? They connect all of the different electrical sources throughout the entire island. So if you ever get lost, just look up, follow the red wires, and you'll eventually come across what you're looking for. The third and final one is over here with this yellow tower. Swing on down here, and this is number one, and you see that you have another electrical issue that you need to rewire. This one does an intelligence stat check where you can either rewire it, needing only five intelligence, or repair the wires with six copper. Of course, you could always try and kick it to test your luck. Let's rewire it. Once it's rewired, head in over to the switch and flip it. Once all three pumps are turned on, you can go claim your prize. At least you think you can. So next to pump one, just look over the little river next to this yellow uh, tarberry farming equipment and you see this dilapidated shack. You need to go down into this area. It's built on top of these cargo containers. In this greenish teal cargo container is a locked door. Now the nice thing about this is that the lights will light up telling you if you've got all of the gener uh, generators turned on or not. As you can see, all three lights are lit up. Now before you open it, arm yourself. You're gonna need it. Once 
once the deed is done and all the ghouls are dead, you can go in and loot everything that's in here. Now, obviously, uh, it's not very impressive. It's a small area. The real prize is yet to come. So take a look in this footlocker and make sure you get the key out of this footlocker. The key unlocks a shed. Uh, now, the note in this shack tells you that the shed is on the eastern dock. And if you go due east, you're actually going to get confused. You will find a dock, but it's across the water over here on Hunter's Island. This dock right here is on a different island called Hunter's Island. And yes, there is indeed a shack here, but this isn't related to the treasure you're trying to find. In reality, you need to go southeast. So the best way to find the treasure is not to go due east from the door of the building where you found the key, but instead to go back to this bridge near to where pump number one was and follow it southeast, not due east, southeast. So round the corner, over the fallen tree, past the dilapidated vehicle until you find this shack right here. It's a red shack with a white door frame and a floating platform. Once inside, you find your treasure. All of these crafting materials in the shelves to the side and then the chest filled with just in a random assortment of loot. The total number of crafting materials that you can find in this cache is seven acid, 18 aluminum, 10 antiseptic, 14 asbestos, 17 different bags of cement, 10 ballistic fiber, 19 cloth, seven cork, 15 duct tape, six fertilizer, nine fiber optics, six fiberglass, 12 gears, 17 lead, 18 leather, four oil cans, seven rubber, 32 screws, 15 springs, and 20 steel. You could outfit an entire new settlement with the amount of scrap that you get from this one shed alone. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the key to discovering the secrets to Cranberry Island Bog. Uh, there are a lot of really cool things about this island. It is swarming with creatures. So if you really wanted to get your hunter legendary weapons uh, uh, oiled up, you could come on down here and hunt quite a few different creatures. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, even at my character's level, which is over level 100. It was challenging to clear out this place. And there's a lot of really interesting storyline stuff. You find notes from little Elzira all over the island, and it really adds a touching bit of story to this particular place. Well, there you go. I uh, hope you guys are having fun with the latest DLC. I sure am, and I hope this video was useful. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Far Harbor content. Thanks for watching.